Hey guys, welcome to the guide on how to do barrels most efficiently. First, we'll start off with what you need to bring. Uh, bring a tally rune out in case you need to leave or um, just so you can get around. You definitely need to bring magic spells, so I would recommend a staff. I, I chose to bring the occult necklace, seer's ring, a cape, and a staff because the only thing I'm going to change out is going to be the, the backpack and the weapon because you're only going to use two things so we're going to use rat range and we're going to use magic bring a few prayer pots if you're high enough level you're not going to need too many uh prayer pots but you're definitely going to need to use them uh if you're 70 plus that's great so you need to bring d food a melee weapon and uh I, dr I chose to do the holy wrench something that's really important is going to be the strange old lockpick because it's going to allow you to get to the center uh, whenever you get down to the bottom very quickly. This center right here, you can just go straight to them. Uh, here's some of the loot that you can get. Uh, it's going to be anywhere from close to a mil to possibly even three mil. And uh, one little tricky thing, we're going to need to get a potential percentage we're gonna get it up to between 81 and 89 so i'm gonna show you guys once i get started what that looks like and how you do it so just like before like i said you're only gonna be swapping these two the crossbow or your range and your i chose to do the backpack it has some benefits and it picks my stuff up so let's go ahead and teleport we're gonna go in a circle. We're gonna start with Deharic. He's a melee defense, so we need to do prayer for protect melee. And you have to dig on his gravesite. So we're gonna dig. And then we're going to come over here so we can get out of the way of other people. Make sure that you have equipped uh, a high magic spell and go ahead and click on him. Protect melee. I'm going to bring him over here so you guys can see. Um, magic, they, the Bears Brothers don't have any magic defense, but you definitely don't want to bring all magic gear. You want to bring your main, the best gear that you have for defense and attack just because they hit hard and it's really not that much difference. Even though, you know, you're going to be, sometimes you will be needing that melee uh, gear protection Every time a head pops up it drains your prayer by 15 so you need to watch out for that That's why you don't want to use too many prayer pots in order to save prayer pots There's actually uh, a more efficient way to go about it since your prayers being drained I'll show you first off the most efficient way to go about it. You want to do all three guys that need prayer so uh, That's Deharic, Aram, and Carol these three guys you will definitely need so with aram since he is magic you got to switch to range so we oh that whenever this happens that means he's the, gonna be the last guy so we'll go back up switch back to magic go down to carol since we still have some prayer left we don't want to waste a bunch of prayer pots it's not going to be some people want to waste a bunch of prayer waste a bunch of things but if you're gonna do this over and over and over, you definitely don't wanna be wasting your stuff. All right, pray range. You can kill Carol with range, but he gets a lot of zeros, I've noticed. So I just stick with uh, doing magic on pretty much everybody. So right here, you're gonna see your potential. You're going to want to get that between 81 and 89%. So that way, whenever you get to the very bottom, your loot is going to be the best loot that you possibly can get. He just drained some of my prayer when he popped up. They all also drain uh, combat stats. That's why using magic in range is best because they don't get drained. Come on. All right, he's done. Turn it off. Save that. We're definitely going to need some of it for... And you know what? Some of these guys do hit pretty hard, especially if you're low level. You can try and practice your prey flicking. Uh, that would be a good practice. But honestly, 
uh, just bring food and just try and tank these guys. If you want to save prayer, prayer pots are t almost 10k a piece. You don't want to be spending, you know, a 50k for you know 40, 50k for a barrel's run because sometimes you only get uh, 20k, you know, out of the the chest at the bottom. But if you get this between 81 and 89 percent, you can get the best loot at the bottom. And also, how you're going to do that is once we kill all the Barrows Brothers we can, then you need to kill two skeletons and wood blum, blood worm, or four blood worms, or two skeletons and a spider. Or you can just do your own thing, kind of feel it out, and just kill random creatures down there until you get uh, your pr potential between 81 and 89 percent. It's not always that you'll get a good loot. A lot of the time you'll get loot between 25 and 50k. You'll get a lot of bl uh, blood runes and death runes. And, uh, you know, these Barrow's teleports are pretty expensive. So that's why we also told you to bring the Holy Wrench because the Holy Wrench will help with your prayer. Uh, it'll help conserve it and help them be more effective and you know what some of these guys can't if you're lower level if you have not that much health a lot of these guys can hit pretty hard so just be on the lookout for that especially daharic that's why daharic you want to do prey melee because he can slap for 50s and 60s you don't want to be under that but aram carol and daharic is the only ones you really need to use prayer on the rest you can just tank to, to save. Everywhere you go in here, the barrels is going to drain your prayer. So it's best to just, just let it drain all the way and only click your prayer pot when you absolutely need it. Uh, I was, the, they say best in slot for a lot of these things are going to be use the Ivan Staff and use Ivan Blast. But the Ivan Staff, it needs to be charged and you know after a while it runs out of charge so what i decided to use was the mystic fire staff it's plus 14 it's actually a little bit more uh it's got you know what it, it just it just depends the ivan blast itself is actually a really 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 powerful blast so you know it can kind of go both ways but what i've learned is that you know what i just chose a like a decently level spell level 59 fire blast brought that fire uh, mystic staff so that way it doesn't use up too much fire you know you're gonna use up some air death runes are the ones that's gonna you know it's gonna be a little bit pricey but you're gonna get death runes during the run so don't really be too discouraged on that you're gonna use your melee weapon on the skulls and the spiders and all that stuff down here and so you're going to want to look, kind of zoom out. There's the chest over there. If you can't open the doors, if they don't show that you can open them, like this one says I can open this, it wants you to go all the way around the maze. This little strange old lockpick is only 100k, uh, and it will allow you to open any doors. You can cut straight through it. Uh, I'm going to decide, you don't want to, see, you don't want to waste your magic like I was just doing. You don't want to waste death runes on blood worms and on these skeletons you just want to melee them down that way you can save money and so i ended up killing one blood worm so i i got this uh skeleton i'm trying to kill right now let's see if we can find one more skeleton i'm sure that i can find one more if i can't i'll just keep killing blood worms until that percentage is between 81 and 89 after you kill the last barrel brother if it goes above 89 usually around 91 it you know it doesn't affect it too too much i've seen some good drops at 91 percent. but if you go all the way a lot of the time it's going to just give you i believe it's like runes only or it's it's some it's somehow you get only a certain loot so we'll go ahead and kill this skeleton right here once we get through there you have to click on the chest to get the last boss to spawn we have to keep in mind what the last boss is i have a plugin that shows me who i've killed and who i haven't killed and so that will allow me to remember what to do when i get there i would recommend you know doing this 50 times before you 
uh, give up because you know it could take 50 times to get a good drop but you can do this in six minutes it'll only take about six minutes to get a, a, a run i'm gonna make sure and drink a prayer pie a little bit get this up start off click on this uh i believe i have to switch back to my magic go back to to pray rain uh yep oh that's arm so i need to switch to my range i almost forgot that definitely don't let them kill you and don't mess up your prey sometimes you can get a little confused the brothers there's so many of them and after you do it so many times you kind of start getting a little bit confused but this section down here you really don't want to have to fight one of the brothers that you have to use prayer on because you're wasting prayer pots like i am right now the head keeps popping up draining my prayer this guy needs prayer and it's just annoying you know it's best to get one of the other brothers where you don't have to use prayer at all and sometimes when you're really close to the end of your prayer sometimes you could just go ahead and um do that so we're gonna go ahead and search it was only worth 20k but like i said do this about uh 40 or 50 times and see what happens sometimes you can you can get lucky on the first few times but you really just need to just keep on keep on doing it you'll eventually get there and thanks for watching my guide